Today we are talking about the impact of secondhand shopping and thrift stores. For the past little while, I've been working at a secondhand store that is run out of the basement of a church. This is the winter jacket and Christmas room. The right side has already been emptied and those jackets are on the floor for sale. On the left side is stuff that is yet to be put out. There is also a bunch of boxes with Christmas stuff in it, all kinds of decorations. And that is not all of it. I have about another 10 boxes in the garage donation area to go through. This is the back store, where a washer, dryer, and sink are. The volunteers wash and dry every kitchen item that gets donated. We also wash any plush toys that can be saved. If the stains on the items cannot be removed, the item is placed into a bag with an X on it. There is also a desk for a volunteer to sort and bag the toys. Most are checked to see if they still work and that the games etc are complete. The store does not want to really sell items that are missing pieces and you can't play the game. If items are found to be broken or missing parts, the items are placed into a bag with an X on them. There are many different rooms that are behind the scenes from the customers, including a summer room where summer clothing is kept. Because it is October, that room is locked. This store happens to not accept furniture, but takes everything else. People and sometimes businesses that closed will make donations. All donations are brought to the garage area and that door is kept locked with low worker access. This is the garage area. Someone working in the garage will begin the first sort. The bags and boxes are opened and the items are placed into their corresponding boxes. Kitchen stuff for the kitchen box, books in the boxes marked for books, etc. If the person notices the item is broken, if the clothing is ripped or has holes in it, that item is placed into a bag with an X on it. And these items are not sold. Once the box of kitchen items is full, it is then brought to the back store where everything gets washed. If the washer notices again that the item is broken or missing parts, it gets placed into a bag with an X on it. If the items received are super broken or gross, those will go directly to the garbage and not placed into a bag with an X. If the items are good, a price is assigned and then it is given to another person to put out onto the floor to sell in the corresponding section. This procedure is nearly the same for all departments. The clothing is a bit different. It is not washed at all due to the sheer amount of clothing donated. After the first initial garage sort by which the person has separated the women's clothing from the men's, kids, jackets, shoes and accessories, they are then given to a group of people who go through every item. They examine the clothing under lights and are looking for holes, stains, or overall condition issues. If there is an issue with the clothing, it again gets placed into a bag with an X on them. If the items are awful, because sometimes people donate really awful stuff, it gets placed into the garbage directly and does not get sorted. As you can see here, we have many different sorting boxes, all different sizes, on top of the tables and underneath. We have everything from picture frames, sports, electronic stuff that has to be tested, clothes hangers, purses, bags, lunch boxes, and school bags, CDs, DVDs, records, VHS, kitchen stuff, shoes, boots, flip-flops, any kind of footwear, knickknacks, Christmas stuff, books, pet supplies, crafts, toys, school stuff, office supplies, religious items, bathroom stuff, electronics that do work, and tools and jewelry, plus a whole lot more. main floor. This store only recently reopened and is in the process of a huge overhaul. Tables and sections are being moved around to better allow for a flow of customers. Because of the panini, there needs to be an entrance door and an exit door. 
as well as adequate space for people to shop in while maintaining a one meter distance. Some parts you will see here are a mess. There's no other words about it, it's just a mess. Some items are still in boxes and that is because their sections are being moved to a different location. The space is quite large and can hold a huge amount of stock. Did you forget about the bags with the X's? Well, you may be wondering where do all these bags go? These bags get brought to another donation center, another organization that will take less than good items to see if they can be sold or given away. Even though they cannot be sold at this store, they may be sold at another. But mostly, these items will end up in the landfill as the majority is of leather quality. And this act of sending items from one secondhand store to another happens a lot. Often items arrive with prices already on them that came from a different store. Unsellables are often passed on from one store to the next until one of them must send the items to the landfill. While buying secondhand is great because manufacturers are not pulling resources from the earth to make more new items, there is an impact because of the sheer number of items received in questionable condition as well as overstock. Now what I mean by overstock, for example, is if the summer, summer clothing does not sell in a year in the summer season, then that clothing is in turn donated to another store to make room for new summer clothes received. Should you choose to donate, please make sure the items are in relatively good condition. No holes, no rips or stains. Make sure all parts are there and not broken. Please do not donate your garbage either, as in use single masks. And yeah, I have even found those mixed in the bags. It is really gross what people donate. Please do not donate anything that you wouldn't buy yourself. And with that guys, I will see you next Friday.